in the oldest stupa standing uh, in all world. Okay, so this is known as uh, Swainbu Stupa. Uh, we also call it Monkey Temple. Every specific painting, it has got a different meaning. Like when you talk in mandalas, there are like thousands and thousands of design. And every mandala, it has a meaning. The center of mandala will determine the significance of the whole thing. So, uh, to, uh, generally to prepare a sankha, uh, what we do is, uh, it is, uh, where, as I told you, uh, thang means cotton and ka means art. It's art made on cotton canvas. And at first what they do is, uh, they just take a normal cotton and then they uh, stretch it with bamboo stick okay and then uh, they make it tight with the frames and uh, then after they apply uh, white clay and chalk powder okay and to uh, stick the clay you need a glue okay. so a uh, glue is made of skin of yak and uh, whereas if we don't get the skin of yak then we use the uh, fish skin we boil it and melt it and then after it is ready to dissolve in water and we mix uh, both of them in water and then uh, we make the solution, then we apply it on the cotton. And then after, we rub it with a uh, uh, smooth uh, stone, okay. And uh, then it will, be, it will generally take, uh, the, to make the canvas, it takes four days to prepare the canvas. And if it's a canvas of masters, then it will take like uh, six days. And but like uh, normally, if you want to learn a thangka, to paint a thangka, so uh, you need a master. Uh, so that like they can instruct you and then uh, what uh, they will do is like uh, they will not teach you like uh, t taking your hands like this they will only show you the process and you need to follow the process and then uh, you have to like practice a very long time because uh, generally when we uh, say students uh, stu to be a student uh, it is around like four or five years we call them students at least and then according to their skills they will uh, promote in other play other, other uh, levels where like we have four levels of artists uh, one is uh, students semi professionals professionals and masters whereas uh, when we talk about the grandmasters grandmasters they generally don't uh, paint a lot they only do a few paintings uh, like one painting a year or like two paintings a year it is all about your delegation on the painting uh, how you do the work how much passion you have about the work uh, but uh, like uh, we don't say like there is specific here that you need to be master you need ha you need to have this uh, um, qualification or like this uh, thing but it is all about yourself you can learn by yourself so uh, like one difference uh, uh, when at the time when he learned so uh, at first he had to make the cloth and uh, directly like he cannot work on the canvas now we are lucky enough that we are directly working on the canvas but at his time it was not the way <laughs> so as he says like uh, uh, when he uh, teaches uh, anybody when like uh, people like us uh, when like uh, people like uh, Bipinsa or me uh, so when we directly start on the canvas and uh, when they learn so it is only part of his karma the good karma he said and uh, uh, as he said like uh, uh, the teacher will be teacher always because his students, it will be, they will be like doctors, pilots, but teacher will always be teaching. So that's the experience that he wants to share. That's the only thing. That is the benefit. <laughs> so as he's saying, like, uh, uh, like when people know about the tradition he would be also quite happy because like uh, when in the paintings like uh, the only thing that the theme of the paintings basically are a uh, compassion main thing is compassion and peace so that's what they are promoting and preserving and what they are doing and when people know about these things so it is a very very warm feeling as for me or him like uh, we do uh, the same thing so it is a very warm feeling for us <laughs>